and um, today's uh, work is not really a workshop, but a presentation really about um, the work that we've been doing over the last few years um, on early years SCND, which um, um, has taken different different shapes, different forms, uh, is on is ongoing at the moment. Um, oh, can you see my screen? Yes, it's fine. We can see it. All oh, right, I can suddenly. I hang on. I can't. OK, I can see it now. Sorry, I, I got the participants cropped up. Um, yeah, so and I can't see we have tested out. I can't see chat and things like this during the presentation. So if there's any questions, there'll be there'll be some time at the end if there's any any particular questions about any aspect of it. But um, there'll be uh, you know, we'll, we'll share emails and things at the end. So if you do want to follow up subsequently about um, any aspect of the work, then then do get in touch. So um, the EY Send partnership well, our, our EY Send work began um, four years ago in January, when it was a single, uh, uh, it was a single project, a single project just just delivered by ourselves um, for just over a year, um, and it was the first time. Sorry, my screen keeps jumping around. Can you just still see the presentation? Yeah, it's still fine. OK, so I'll let you know if it disappears or anything. OK, sorry about that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it was the first time we'd taken on a, a, a fairly, you know, a project like this of, of, of its size, even though it wasn't a massive project compared to some of the stuff we've, we've done um, subsequently. Um, and it was really just looking at it was almost a sort of um, testing the water with a, this sort of national work with a particular framework which was um and i'll spend a bit of time talking about this ey send one because actually um really the work that was that was um developed in ey send one has been the sort of building bricks that have have, have lasted through all the subsequent versions of of our EY, ey send work so um it sort of gives an explanation of of how these things came about and and um, you know the, the stuff that's really at the cent that remains at the centre of the work. So one of the things we de we did was the development of a self review tool, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, we, t we we delivered what we called these regional action learning set events, um, and this first project was was national. So we worked in every uh, in every area, um, put together some case studies. There was a specific um, uh, program for in the information advice and support services. I mean that that one hasn't endured with the other the other remaining um, programs. Although we do have members of IR services coming to our events, but in the first one it was a it was a specific cohort and a specific piece of work. Um, and then there was a couple of kind of final events because we weren't really sure at that stage, as we can you know we're never really sure at the end of a project if it's going to be if we're going to have the opportunity to to continue to continue the work and, and keep going. Um, and just to say, all all of our all of this EY Send work I'll be talking about um, was funded by uh, the DFE, including this first one. So, in terms of the self review tool, which is probably the, the key document that we've had um, that we've developed, the self review tool is really um, a, a fairly simple kind of table based um, resource that is designed specifically to help staff and practitioners from across different different teams uh, in local areas um, look at the evidence of their impact and, and and plan some kind of strategic approach or to help sort of focus some of that that planning around a, a strategic approach to the early years and in EYSN one there was a lot of toing and froing with this there was I can't I mean I wasn't actually in the in the team working on this one at EYSN one but I was in the same office and I remember the amount of different drafts and bits that were taken out and and these basically what you've got there is these are the headings that we came that that we eventually sort of came up with which was data identification of need parental engagement local offer and that's specifically the local offer, the aspect of the ordinary available provision rather than the sort of making nice pictures and design on the local offer staff skills and expertise funding arrangements and joint working that was ey send one and then at the end of ey send one uh, the resource was was adapted following feedback and transition um, was included, which is particular. You know, there's a lot of kind of um, reverberations with sort of stuff in terms of where we are now. But obviously, transition. Um, it, it it was um, a sensible thing to to include transition then, but it's even more relevant 
uh, now with some of the challenges with COVID. So that's the, so that was the, so that's the topics of the self-review tool. This is an example page. This is the parental engagement. They all each page looks like this. Um, each of the topics. So if you look at the topics, date, you know, identification of need, local offer. Each of these topics we picked out. So sort of, there's normally five or six sort of statements uh, that we, we we worked on with with practitioners during the EY Send one, and then it's really just working through these. The st each statement is there a consent and this really needs a collection of people from a local area ideally not all from the same team but you know people from settings ideally parents as well people from the early years teams people from SEN teams and really that sense of do we essentially do we agree partially agree or disagree where's the evidence and then then that sort of sense of prioritization and what we did in the regional action learning sets is we spent a lot of time uh, we gave people a lot of time to work through these in local areas, but there wasn't the expectation that, right, start with data and work your way through. It was really a case of pick, you know, two, maybe three, but, you know, normally two and really focusing on those. And that's that's your starting point. So that was something. Um, yes. And so they all look like that. It's it's on our website as well. And that's what we delivered in these action learning sets. So in terms of the these were really useful feels like a long time ago when we were able to um, jump on a train and um, you know have these events with a nice you know and part you know part of it was that you know coffee breaks free you know a free lunch provided the opportunity for for people from from different areas in each region to come together network talk about the same kind of issues they're all facing so you got you had that broad um, value around just br of, of bringing people together who've got those these these common uh, these common issues um, but in terms of the, the format of the day was pretty fixed and again this format it has remained to to now I and mean, we're doing less of the regional stuff with with covid but um all the way through this is essentially the same kind of format we start off with a bit of the big picture stuff so some policy things some if there's some some news sometimes we'd get a guest speaker coming in sometimes we'd look at if there was an Ofsted thing you know, depending on, on what's topical at the time in terms of of, of EY send, then there'd be um, table discussions. We'll try and mix people up table discussions from different areas talking about, you know, just talking shop, really talking about the challenges, talking about what they're doing, talking about how they're they're making things work in their local areas. And then we'd get, you know, plenty of coffee and um, biscuits. Then we'd have right now get into your local areas. And, and work on the self review tool. So it was a kind of it was a gradually if you think you know the first thing start broad and end up relatively narrow in terms of we end up with that very specific um, work uh, in local areas. Um, and again, you know what we'd encourage was we'd, we'd always get a lot of local authority staff, but it was always ideal if you know there'd be some some parent reps, some people from health teams uh, um, settings uh, and things like that. But obviously, this, the purpose of the day was was to to get the ball rolling, and the, and the the real the aim was about the self review tool. Is then you know do what you know start start the, those conversations, start start looking at these sort of sense of priority and strategy, and then take it back and and use it in 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 whatever way is going to work locally in terms of the different you know working groups you might have or or the different sort of planning groups. So then we had two action learnings, and the second action learning set within uh, within the EY Send one was pretty much the same. So some big picture stuff at the beginning, a bit more about we'd often get pretty much the, you know the same people would often return, or it would be mostly the same people looking at you know this is what you put down whatever it was six months ago in your self review. How does that look now? Is that where have you got to with that? Um, which was which was a really useful exercise and then following on from that because again we we weren't sure where this work was going some discussions around you know where is the what is the value of 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 just this this simple you know simple thing of bringing practitioners together with this common focus is there a way we can we can support some regional networks or or some kind of peer support um so that was ey send uh one in terms of impact so we had um we did an internal evaluation from this um and it, you know it hit the kind of stuff that, you know we were really hoping we'd achieve we we mostly hit it was you know some high feedback in terms of um identifying areas of work some 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 um some good feedback about 
act, you know, people actually being confident they're putting together these action plans with colleagues. Um, and then, you know, that that sense of we didn't have training in this one, so that 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 um, the stuff we were sharing about the the, the, the policy issues, the, some of the national picture stuff, people feeling they're walking away with a improved knowledge on some of those some of those those wider um, policy or legal frameworks. And there's a few examples of. I mean, there was a there was a full report where we got information from different areas of, of you know, because it's always about the impact of well, what what changed. It was great that you got to you. We brought people together. It was great that people felt that they were improving things. It was great that they were um, working together to look at this stuff. But actually, what then changed? And, the, and these are some examples. Um, I mean, I won't read them all out. There's some examples of the kinds of things that that those conversations of bringing people together um, led to, or at least supported that, given that sense of prioritization. So that was EY Send one. Check my time. I might have to whiz on 3.13. Okay, good. Now, EY Send two, the partnership. So it makes it sound like some kind of Lord of the Rings sequel, but um, not quite as exciting as that. But I mean, I thought it was quite exciting. So EY Send two, because the first one, DFE were really pleased with it. There was a, there was a real sense that, um, the, the sort of framework that being put together was something that, that could work very well with a bit more sort of oomph behind it. And so what we managed to get then was a, a, about an 18 month program with a bit of a gap while these things were sorted out from November 2018 to March 2020. Now, unfortunately, we're only really purely because of financial reasons, we're only able to work across five regions, which I hope you know those brief. I mean, it's kind of probably obvious, but it's essentially the Midlands and above. Uh, was where we were able to work in those 18 months and what we we're able to do but you know if you're looking at that self-review tool um looking at the well, where are the priorities in terms of, of ey said we're able to bring together a group of organizations who've got the who had you know very specific expertise um knowledge skills in these areas we we're looking to focus on um in terms of um you know taking this ey send work to the next step so yeah, you know, just I mean I'm sure these names will be familiar to a, to a lot of you, but just to go through it. So Nason have a very broad whole setting approach to SEN in the early years, and they I mean they do a whole setting approach across all age groups, but they're able to to put together a very specific set of resources and training around the whole setting approach in the early years. Um, ICANN and the Communication Trust, who are uh, working together, gave us two different branches of SLCN support. So I can very much focusing about SLCN in settings and the communication trust um, having a focus on the a, a lo local communication path, SLCN pathways. So, I mean, a lot of crossover there, as you can imagine, and they work very closely. I mean, they, I mean communication trust is sort of within ICANN anyway, so they work very closely together, but distinct uh, focus in terms of SLCN. Contact, I'm sure many of you are familiar with, we've got the expertise of working with parents. And then our role very much was um, lead partner, holding the whole thing together, but leading on those regional events, so those sort of things where we're bringing everyone together. Uh, and um, and in terms of, I'll show you later, some of the comm stuff and the website stuff, we were, we were sort of holding all of that. So, you know, we we're able to take what we did in the UI Send One and just say, well, uh, you know, Ideally, who who could come in and do some of this stuff with with real expertise around these these very specific and very relevant uh, areas in terms of EY Send. So uh, the aims and this you know EY Send one, although it was much smaller, really the the, the thread has run through to today that was started in EY Send one. So it's still about um, supporting the development of local strategies to improve access, inclusion, and outcomes for young children with SEND and bringing together getting people together setting services agencies about and you know and it is about local priorities and action but that value of just bringing people together to 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 have useful discussions about how um how um how challenges are being overcome what people are doing um etc uh i was i was going to do a warning at the beginning that um there are they say there's there's two certainties in life death and taxes I would add uh, my son interrupting me doing a presentation is the third um, of those certainties in life that, that is on that list. So hopefully he's just going to go and sit over there and be quiet. OK, so the but the activities are much broader as well. 
So we had the regional action learning sets, but obviously only in those five regions that we worked in. But there was a huge raft of additional training that wasn't available in EY Send One. There was some. There was a a, um, a, a program of what we called specialist. Well, we had different names: specialist support, essentially. Sometimes it was called the local action learning sets. Um, and each partner developed resources as well. So if you look at that thread, these basically all these organizations with their specialist areas, whole setting approach, speech and language, there was training, there was resources, and there was specialist support, and everyone just focused on their areas. Um, I mean, our specialist support was um, the local offer though. So it was, which, you know, was, was slow, not what we were necessarily known for at CDC, but the other organizations, it was that, that very clear focus. You know, this is the overview. It's that 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 progression of providing the training, providing the support, moving. You know, that strategic moving into the strategic planning and strategic support, and move and you know, with the the hopeful aim of increased access and improved outcomes. Right. So the regional action learning sets. So like in EY Send One, these were delivered um, across. Uh, we had we had three instead of two. We had three, but it's really the same. It's just just sort of stretched out and and more opportunities for people to come together. Um, delivered in one day. We really hoped you know within each region there was we we did a lot of work trying to get all the different local areas um, to come together. Um, sorry if you can hear that. Uh, my son's just gently trashing this room. Um, we're again that that opening session about national information, which, as you know, did nothing stands still with, with with this stuff in terms of national strategy and policy. Um, and, you know, really not just wanting a wide range of local authorities, but wanting a wide range of participants. Authority um, and, you know, sometimes some areas I remember Northwest in particular, there were some areas where we were literally sort of 10 people, 10 different types of people from from a local area sometimes we'll just get one person but even if it was one person it's still a starting point because it's still about getting people to take this work back and to, to build it into their to kind of their long-term planning rather than just here's one day or here's three days over a year and that's where all the work will take place but it was still a big focus on those um, self-review tools and, and that and that that tool didn't change and that process that I talked about in EY send one was still the process get people around the table prioritizing uh, and things like that so um EY send two the training just a quick overview of the training um and again if you that the earlier slide with, with the different strands um uh, I mean, really, this is just to show. I mean, the numbers were very good. I think there's a real um, appetite in terms of early years um, training, of, in terms of actually what's available out there for practitioners. It's you know, it's not a crowded field of of, of specialised training. It's just the the program of training that we provided um, in terms of EY Send One, uh, EY Send Two. Sorry. Uh, the specialist support. Now, this was something that was slightly different. Um, this is where we offered within the, the, the program of here's some training, here's the regional events we want you to come to. We uh, were able to offer one local area per region. Um, one of these, again, the partners delivering their, their, their specialist, um, their, ex, their area of expertise. So it's really, you know, working with the local authority and it was three meetings over the year uh, to go into that local authority again with a range of practitioners. And, you know, each local authority did it in slightly different ways. Um, and to, you know to give that more sort of one to one support uh so there the first meeting often would be you know what is it if it was you know the um well let's take you know SLCN pathway the first meeting would be well where where are you at with that what, what are the priorities that need to be addressed how can we look at that second meeting where's the progress third third and final meeting that you know again that sense of um you know what's you know what has been achieved uh and, and potentially what else what else can we provide um and these were really you know these were i mean it's worth saying these were really i mean it, these came out very strongly in terms of the um impact because it was essentially in terms of practitioner support it was it was three days and that was it and most of the meetings were sort of you know two to three hours um it was very light it became very light touch support but actually that that sense that there was someone continued to come in that 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 that, that process of support that was available um 
meant that you know this this is one of the features that came out extremely um, highly um, in terms of the the uh, the evaluations and the impacts. And then there were some resources as well. I oh, will. Oh, oh. Yeah, 322. And then again, it's the same thread. Each of the, the the organizations developing resources on their on their strengths. Um, and then what we did, we really ramped things up. So EY Send One, it was very much kind of getting email, emails out and things like that. By EY Send, EY Send Two, we'd put together a, a, a website on the CDC uh, website, which we were able to put in all the resources, all the links to training dates and, and things like that. Um, and that's on the left. And on the right hand side is the example of the uh, newsletter. So one of these MailChimp newsletters. And um, you know, the list now is we've got over a thousand people um, subscribed to the newsletter now. So that was that's a big piece of work as well. Hey. So in terms of evaluation, I mean, I won't go through these in great detail. This, but because EY Send 2 was an 18 month project, a much higher funded um, project. So I'm just going to text my wife to get um, get the cavalry in. As, uh, um, yeah, so this was an independent evalu evaluation done by the University of Wolverhampton, so it had a bit a lot more sort of substance to it and it was a quite quite a big piece of work. Um, so, you know, but again, the, the stuff we were we we were hoping to achieve at the beginning came out very strongly. So, uh, you know, that training um, practitioners, in, you know, and increase and that, I think the training, but also the stuff that was picked up at the regional events, you know, increasing expertise and confidence. Um, the second one, I, I mean, this is something that was very strong in terms of the evidence that we put together um, when we came to when we went to DFE in the first place about why we were keen to do this piece of work is that that feeling that that parental confidence around settings and the feeling you know can this setting um, provide you know what we think is needed for our child um, given that you know if if the needs are already, already clearly identified if there's a, a diagnosis already been needed they've already been made uh, in the early years so you know the the parental aspect was really important again that's why we had that specific strand delivered by contact um multi you know this key bit that that like i said that that, that where the um the focus of the regional events um you know this came out well that there was um an improvement in multi-agency strategies you know which is you know not not Providing a free lunch is great, but that sense of well, where is this going? And there was there was definitely the strong sense of of of, of you know getting something done um, across those five areas in this project. I would say. All right, I think the uh, off you go. <laughs> Bye bye, little one. Trouble. Yeah, I, he's not quite um, done, um, brought chaos to this impressive level in my presentations before, but um, yeah, it's, it's lovely to have him at home. Right. Uh, so that was the, uh, and the fourth one, because there was such a big focus delivered by both ICANN and TCT, there was a specific um, section we had about the, uh, the improvements, um, particularly about SLCN pathways, and this was linked to a national um pathways a uh, bit of work that was there was a delay with i don't I'm not even sure if it came out it was meant to come out during eysn2 it may have actually come out afterwards but anyway it was a it was a particular there was a particular focus because of the national picture right which moves us nicely on to time okay eysn3 um you know tweaks rather than any any again any massive changes so it was really the same except we were able to do a national program which was brilliant so we had all nine regions we had one more partner you know transition as you saw transition was brought in to the, to the self-review tool following ey send one and then when we looked at ey send three and the opportunities we might sort of bid for we definitely felt that there was a space for that very again another strand of of that support, so Dingley's Promise, who are uh, an organisation, early years organisation, um, 
who got a very good track record transition were brought in to do the same kind of stuff training resources specialist support and so the structure of you know really not that that different um two action regional action learning sets instead of three uh, a training program and special and that same thing specialist support now obviously you look at the time you look at the dates the big challenge we had with ey send three was um we so we finished um ey send two um you know march uh, 2020 at the same time we were working with dfe about the framework for ey send three we had pretty much wrapped kind of put together the package this is what it's going to look like obviously budget usual budget for travel budget for events venues catering and then suddenly you know you, you, as we all remember things just um switched um very quickly and we had to not exactly go back to the drawing board because what we wanted to achieve was still the same and actually a lot of the activities we wanted were still the same it's just how would we do those virtually so that was and i'm you know and we all had that challenge and, and you know all of you would have all have been through that and i would say um in terms of the overview the only thing that that the thing that probably suffered the most was the regional events because those regional events it's so much about that face-to-face -face, you know contact that sitting around tables having discussions you know, having a having a chat in the queue for the coffee, um, they were definitely not the same um, as uh, virtual events. And you know, we managed to get stuff done through the, virtually with the regional events. But I think those those ones were were hard. It's hard to get some of that that added value of networking virtually, uh, rather than, as compared to a room. Whereas something like the training or, or delivering seminars or the specialist specialist support actually. Um, in some ways worked better because we didn't have, and I remember that in EY said too, we we were, myself and Philippa were going up to, Philippa Stobbs who, was, who leads on this, going up to Barnsley and places like that. And you know, you're spending half the, half the time, more than half the time on the train. Whereas actually the, the, the specialist support where you can just link in with the local authorities, get, you know, get a group of people, set up a Zoom or a Teams chat. Actually the specialist support probably is something, you know, when we look at like, as we're all looking at that, well, what are we going to keep and what are we going to go back to once hopefully things settle down? I think the specialist support that um, it's a great way of working with a range of practitioners in a in a in a local area. Whereas uh, for us, as soon as we can do it, some those regional events, just getting people together, we would we would be looking to do that. So yes, that was EY Send three. It was a year long program. Um, and I, you know, there's no need to go into. I mean, all the stuff I've described that the 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 training program is really much the same as as we were delivering um, within EY Send uh, two, but just I mean, sometimes some of the training uh, uh, topics were slightly tweaked or whatever, but it was still you know I can focusing on SLCN, Nason doing whole setting stuff, and they've got reviewer training and things like that. Um, so yeah, much of the same stuff. Um, and the impact, I mean, we still sort of picking through some of the impact stuff from from EY Send 3, but in terms of we did a very large survey with practitioners, uh, well, practitioners and parents uh, who'd, who'd, who'd access support uh, and some very high. So these are these are marks out five averages across the we had a survey over, well, over 100 people filled it in. So in terms of being very, very relevant to people's work, helped in roles working with children and helped to deliver a specific impact or outcome. Uh, 4.1. So, um, you know, some really good feedback uh, from the practitioners, especially given those first few months, you know, just the, just the first few months of just trying to work out how we would adapt it. We, we lost a lot. Of, you know, we, we, it was a real challenge losing some of that time at the beginning. We did an additional report looking at the specialist support and some of the stuff, you know, there's a lot of stuff came out of that. But in particular, some of the headlines were people appreciated the flexibility of support, which is a vital part of it because, you know, if you're going to go, I said, if you, if you work in Barnsley, if you work in Leicester City, if you work in Harringay, you know, these are different local areas with different priorities, different ways of working, you know, so the, the flexibility was key in terms of how people, it wasn't just going in saying, right, this is, this is the list of what you've got to do. Let's, let's go through and take it off. It was really much more about what is it you want, what is it you want to achieve and, and, and actually how can we, how can we work together to do that? People appreciate the expertise, which we would expect, given the, 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 the how we've selected the organisations and the focus they each have. Um, 
And there was a, some good feedback about specific resources and programs developed as a result of this work. So again, the specialist support, it, that sort of sense of value for money of relatively little input, as I said, I mean, in terms of EY Send 3, it was, yeah, it was three meetings again, but it was three meetings, you know, it was not day long meetings. These were a couple of hours, mostly three sets of two hour meetings or so. All the work sort of supporting and 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 sort of um, motiv helping motivate the progress of that work over the period of, of, of the year. But in terms of the, the input from us was, you know, very light touch. And then we had a wider evaluation report, which was another internal report. Um, and some, you know, again, some good stuff, strength and relationships, um, you know, a strategic focus uh, on EYSN team, helping sort of support that strategic focus. Um, I mean, one of the, that last one is an interesting one, and it, it came up, it can't, well, it came up and it comes up all the time, is that one of the challenges around strategic work was very much about the buy-in from senior leaders. And if you had that, the work generally went the way it should have gone. If it was harder to get that buy-in, um, it was it was harder to achieve what was wanted because it's it's getting that, and it is one of the challenges I think with with early years and SEND is getting it when when it, you know when local authorities and you see it in the Ofsted reports that SEN um, that Nick was talking about, you, you know, in that big picture of of the challenges a local authority has with SEN, uh, SEN and SEND, you know, early years doesn't often I mean early years actually often comes out well even though there are challenges, but um, you know, where is it often in the pecking order when people are looking at really putting some resources and capacity in, into into um, the challenges in their area? And I'm nearly done. So we are now in EYSN4, which started, which unfortunately um, we've been given five months. We're given five months to do some sort of essentially some sort of continuity to keep keep the work moving so a limited amount of training again not listing it because it's the same kind of stuff we got the same partners are involved in ey send four than there were in ey send three we did a big series of national seminars in may uh, which were really good um you know ch you know always a challenge to put together virtually but um again it was a bit like the training partners working on their specialist areas our specialist support, because we can only offer one meeting, our specialist support has taken the the uh, sort of framework of working in, within one meeting on an action plan, which then the, lo the, the local area can then take forward. Ideally, if we if we could get some additional funding, we step back in with further in later down in the year. But if not, then a local area got something tangible to walk away with in terms of um, um, a, a, a route forwards. And yeah, our continued challenge around COVID and the uncertainties about when things are opening and not, and you know, uh, and actually what we found a lot in different times last year was that one of the biggest impacts we had with COVID was not just the, the technical side of things, but the challenge of, of practitioners saying, we are, we are firefighting on the ground with, to try and just make, you know, support families in our area. Actually, some of that big strategic stuff we simply haven't got the time to do right now, and that affected some of the attendances at some of our events because um, people just had, you know, bigger issues to deal with, um, and that that you know huge priorities in local areas of just making their own adjustments um, to COVID. Hi, Chris. Just to let you know, we uh, we have a few more minutes before the end. And I well, think it, well, we are we are at the end so this is i mean the websites it's on the cdc website there's the website if you would like to email there's uh that's a kind of general email we use for ey send as well and that's it so five minutes if anyone <coughs> i'm a bit hoarse um, there is a question in the chat chris is um just to do with whether the discussions and improvements included sen transport no, That's you know what? Transport didn't. I mean, it may have come up in. Um, I'm trying to think in terms of the spe specialist support. I don't remember seeing it in terms of any other specialist support. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there's lots of these, you know, the more work we did in, you know, we chose these kind of big areas, uh, you know, speech and language, whole setting, parents, you know, as kind of sort of catch all things where there's a lot of things falling into those specific areas. Well, you know, as we've gone along, we've, you know, there are so many sort of nuances to this and, and you know, s not smaller, but uh, but very specific issues. Absolutely, that come up. yeah. I mean, and the transport question, yeah, yeah carry, sorry. Carry the question was from myself. And to be honest, I would never have really 
considered it as something I need to think about. I work in continuing care, so I um, can procure and commission support packages for children with complex health needs. Um, and the I have had a, an issue a couple of times, <coughs> excuse me, this year um, with a young boy on my caseload who is two, um, but was enrolled at a nursery, but couldn't get there because he didn't qualify for SCN transport mm. and mum's vehicle wasn't it wasn't safe for mum to drive with him in the car with nobody else and things like that. I did end up getting it agreed through SEN. It did take me a while, but they kind of came round to my way of thinking. But I just wondered whether it was something that would um, potentially be considered for, especially around the early years um, going forward. Because I think, it, and then because we've had it a couple of times this year, we've never really thought of it before as, as an issue, but. Uh, especially with two of our younger ones that aren't of the the age that they would qualify. Yeah, no, I think, you know, we've been learning stuff from day one with this project about actually, and it's, what, that's what we missed about the regional events was having conversations like this where, um, you know, sometimes it's some very specific issues that are very specific to, to someone who's coming along that day in their team, or whatever. So yeah, so we've been learning. So no, that's really interesting that you, that you raised that. And um, yeah, I'll definitely sort of take that away when we're as I said we're hoping that there'll be another an opportunity post August but it's as it stands we're um yeah we'll see yeah who knows <laughs> exactly but no thank you for that it's really, really no that's great thank you thank you so I think we're we're nearly out of time now the second workshops start okay. at 3 50 so uh people have a short break in between the two Chris it's Karen uh, can, are you sharing these slides? Will they come out with the main pack? I believe so. I think, is, right. that, is that right, Kate? Are they all going out? Uh, yes, I, I think everything is sent out afterwards um, by the... And if you want to, you know, for, for anyone, if, if you want to have a, a further chat or a bit more information about any of any aspect of what we've been to, up to in terms of UI send, just um, either, I mean, my email might go around with this or, or the, that EY send email or get in touch with any of the team who've been involved in this and... Um, we can get some stuff. That's great. Thank follow you. Up. Can, I, can I just say, um, it was a pleasure to see your son joining us. That was uh, <laughs> made it very interesting. Thank you. He, yeah, he generally does. And uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to spend the next hour. Yeah. I'm going to spend the next I feel hour the in the room. I feel the pain. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Take Bye. care. Enjoy the rest of the Bye day. Bye now. Bye-bye.